Hello there folks, my name is Spooks and I saw Challengers and it was amazing. Now going into this movie, I was pretty curious about it. See, just the fact that it was a sports romance drama, just that combination of genres incorporated into this movie was so odd, it kind of intrigued me. And the trailers were all very good and really ca caught my eye. I, I thought the movie looked a lot better than what the premise sounded like on paper. I was curious to see Zendaya take on a role like this and seeing the other two actors, Josh O'Connor and Mike Face, in a role like this. I hadn't seen them in anything really before, as far as I know, so I was curious to see uh, that their time to shine, really. And I'm happy to report that this movie really exceeded my expectations. This was a lot better and more gripping than I thought it would be. While the story didn't intrigue me from how it sounded on paper, it really intrigued me on how it's executed. Like I said before, this is a sports romantic drama and it excels on all three of those genres and somehow managed to combine them into an excellent movie. I, I'm honestly impressed they were able to just do that alone. On the sports aspect, you can tell this was made by people who love tennis as I am someone who does not really care about tennis. My only prior knowledge about the sport is pretty much that one part in the third Diary of a Wimpy Kid movie. So you can imagine I wasn't really enthusiastic on that aspect. But damn it, they made me care about tennis. The tennis matches and sequences here are really fun, really exciting, and well-crafted. The way they're edited and put together really actually had me on the edge of my seat, actually invested in a tennis match, especially the final tennis match that takes place at the end of the movie. My god, that was a well put together sequence. Literally had my heart racing, making me guess who's gonna win, what was gonna happen. I, I can't believe I was that invested in a tennis match. Again, I don't really care about this sport, but it managed to do that. As for the romance part, I do feel like this is the part of the movie that I feel like people might get let down by as the film is heavily relying on the sex appeal and believe me there is there is sex appeal in this movie but it's not nearly as in it as much as i thought it would especially with the fact that the mar movie is marketing itself as the sexiest movie of the year there's so much sex in this movie and so but there's not really that much in the film so i do feel people are going to get let down by that aspect but it doesn't take away that the romance angle is still very well done you really get the feeling on why, why and how these characters feel for each other, where this love triangle formed, and it leads to some pretty solid drama and tension between the characters. You get where they're coming from, you get how things all spiraled out of control and what characters did these decisions and why they're doing them and what they have to gain from this tennis match, and it leads to some really gripping tense and hard pounding sequences and ultimately like i said the tennis match which is just so again well put together had my heart racing wondering what's gonna happen who's gonna win in the end overall and i also loved how they incorporated tennis into the romance a bit how they describe tennis and the passion these characters have for the sport describing it as a relationship and seeing the relationship between these characters just unfold and fall apart and spiral out of control it was all very well done and again once again made me give a crap about a sport i don't care about and the last positive thing i want to say about this is the acting in this movie the actors all three of them did an outstanding job zendaya is a star if you thought she was great in dune part 2 you ain't seen nothing yet she did fantastic in this movie brought her a game to the character i really couldn't see anybody else playing this character it was really a role made for her and mike faced and josh o'connor also did excellently i thought they brought a lot to their characters and i felt really did a good job of making us feel for their relationship they had great chemistry with one another as well as zendaya and seeing as this is one of the first times i'm seeing these two in a movie i thought they knocked it out of the park and i look forward to seeing them in other movies seeing as how well they did in this movie i think they both have bright futures ahead of them and as for the characters themselves they are all very gripping very likable and charming characters 
Yes, the actors bring a lot to make the characters stand out, but I think the way they're written, you know, not being the best people, but they're not, like, hateable or unlikable or anything, that you still care about the characters and question the decisions at what they do and still root for a lot of them at the end of the movie. It makes them very interesting to follow and make you care about what's going to happen in the movie next. If I had one criticism with this movie, it's the way the movie is told. It is told in a non-linear fashion. It goes back and forth between time periods. There are multiple times where the movie goes two weeks earlier, five years earlier, three weeks later, and I was with it at first, but after a while I did get a bit tired of the movie going back and forth between these time periods and I didn't really feel it was necessary to tell the film uh, this way. Maybe for a couple flashbacks for sure, but I, I felt like it was a bit unnecessary for the type of movie this was. I know this isn't a problem for everybody and it's not the biggest criticism in the world, but for me it was the one thing holding this movie back for me unfortunately. But other than that, this movie is outstanding. Again, a sports romance drama about tennis of all things is one of my favorite films of the year. The way it was able to combine all these genres and tell a captivating, gripping story with interesting characters definitely makes it worth uh, a watch at the theater. I loved this movie so much. Definitely surprised me for sure. Even though the movie didn't look that bad, I was still a bit hesitant on like, could they pull this off? But they were able to do so. So yeah, it gets a big recommendation from me. I love this movie way better than I expected it to be. Definitely one of my favorite films of the year so far. Definitely go check it out. And those were my thoughts on Challengers. What did you all think of it? If you've seen it, did you like it? Did you hate it? Comment down below and let me know. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you like this channel, hit the subscribe button. Follow me on all the social media links at the end of the video. And until next time, everyone, stay sharp. And I am only as young as the minute is full of it Getting pumped up on the little bright things I bought